I am Highline. Welcome to my vlog. Good morning. And yes, I'm Dutch. Smoke in a pancake. Yes, I'm totally excited. I'm going to talk about engineering. Engineering is so freaking cool. Especially when you talk about an engineer that's called Professor Palin. Awesome times. Anyhow, to get uh, Professor Palin, it's not really that hard. That's one thing for sure. Because the only thing that you need is a requirement that's called 5,000 light years. That's it. And you need to fly 5,000 light years from your home system where you kind of started, right? So it's not that hard. It's really easy to do that. Because, well, if you have an Asp Explorer and you basically have engineered yourself a frameshift drive, then it's pretty easy to do this. Awesome, right? Cool. Because if you calculate the amount of jumps that you have to do, uh, it's about, let's say, 120-ish, somewhere around that area. And when I did this, it took me almost two hours to complete this task, in particular. So it's not really that hard to do that. Just like what I said, whatever. But uh, yeah, well, once you've found the Professor Palin that is, then you will need 25 units of sensor fragments. And oh boy, this is kind of like where the loophole kind of started for me personally, because it took me almost two weeks to figure this one out. But still, it's freaking awesome to figure this one out. <laughs> what you will need is a alien crash hide. That's basically it. And an alien crash site is often referred to, let's say, a Thargoid crash site, more or less. And what kind of frustrated me was that there are some known sites out there. One is in the Pallades sector, uh, which is A, B, W, B2-4. Um, but that doesn't seem to work for me. At least, I couldn't really figure it out. That's, that's the problem there. Then I went to a different system, that was HIP 17403. And the plant is a 4A. Yeah. <laughs> HIP 17403A4A. Right? So once you get to this location, you will find yourself a ship that has been crashed. And I think it's an interceptor, I'm not really sure. I could be wrong about this. But it's still an alien vessel who cares. Um, but anyway, the thing that you need to do over here is take your SRV, that's that little vehicle that you can drive around with, right? And one thing that you will need to find are sensors, right? But the problem over here lies that these sensors are corrosive, so you cannot really pick them up inside of your SRV, please don't. And one thing that struck me was that you actually have to shoot those things to make them become fragments. Yeah, think about that. The first time in Elite Dangerous that you actually have to shoot a material to make something new out of that, right? Who would have thought of that? Okay, cool, I got it covered. Anyways, so the best thing that you can do right now is to go to this system, HIP 17403, and once you find that location, you land your thing, your ship on the planet, you basically jump inside of your SRV, and you, you, you will park your car somewhere in the middle of this location, sit inside your turret and then start shooting things uh, going from one sensor to another sensor, pick them up and then log out and log in and repeat the same task about mm, let's say eight or so times yeah that's gameplay for you right okay awesome it's still epic times i mean come on you gotta love this right so once you've gathered those you will go to palin you basically unlock the engineer and then you can start uh, engineer yourself thrusters and um right where, where do you start where do we start with this right because most of the materials that you can find for thrusters at least especially the dirty thrusters because that's usually the one that you will most likely pick up because it's all about gathering more speed and dirty thrusters is all about that till grade four it kind of goes pretty smooth to do that right because most of the materials are pretty common. Uh, sometimes you need to do some, uh, well, let's say, material gathering inside of conflict zones, and sometimes you just need to run around on a planet or do some mining left and right, and stuff like that. It's pretty self-explanatory, especially the firmware packages, while well, you can pick those up from data sites, right? The most problematic item that I have right now, and to be fairly honest, I haven't really found one yet, even while I'm doing this for three weeks straight. Um, there's one item in particular which is going to be the pharmaceutical isolators. And what I understand from the pharmaceutical isolators is that these things can only be picked up inside of zones that are outbreak systems. And you need to find inside of an outbreak system a high grade signal source. And oh boy, I can't find them. That's my problem right now. 
I have also read some stuff left and right that you can also do these things by missions. I also tried that, but no luck there. So if you have any information about this regarding the pharmaceutical isolators, I will be grateful for that. But as far as my knowledge goes, this is the basic knowledge that I have right now. And I'm kind of like puzzled with this whole idea. Anyways, small topic about Palin. Have lots of fun and I will talk to you later.